Hi everyone and welcome to Watercolors with Jaylene and for today's tutorial we're going to do a little basket of florals and before we get started I would like to ask you to subscribe and like my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate that. It helps me grow. So to get started I will go over my supplies list. It's pretty, pretty basic. Um, I have my watercolor paper a number six round brush, a pencil, my water, clean water for my brushes, and then uh, just I have my my big color palette today with my watercolors in it. So to go over the um, colors that I'm using for the flowers, I'm pretty much using just the cadmium orange with a little bit of burnt sienna. And I kind of am doing different tones on the flowers. And then for the leaves and greenery, that's sap green with a little bit of indigo mixed in with it. And then for the basket, it's pretty much just burnt sienna. And then also for the background, a little bit of burnt sienna. It's real quick and simple. That's how I like to keep these real basic so that anyone that's just starting out can really grasp um, you know the feel for it and have fun doing it so if you want to if you want to choose other colors for the flowers feel free to do that uh, I just took chose some nice autumn colors to start with so what I want to do is just kind of very very lightly sketch this out just to kind of give me an idea of where everything will actually be located once I start um, painting it in so I just did three circles that will be the flowers and then of course the basket is going to come down on either side and just around so I don't know if you can even see that it's so light and uh, it just is you know helps me out once I get started on this <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is for the basket, the background of it, I do want to put a, just a little bit of color down, and I'm going to do that to begin with so that that has time to dry. I do want that nice and um, dry before I start putting the, the woven um, look into the basket. And so to do that, I am going to grab just a hint of the burnt sienna and uh, kind of color, you know, or paint this in. And give it just like I said just a very light coloring and then down along the bottom and a little bit up the side I'm just adding a little bit more so once that kind of blends it will add a little bit of uh, I guess like a shading so to speak so like I said I'm just gonna let that dry real well and we'll get back to that a little later so um, to start with the flowers they're they're like um, roses okay so I'm going to mix up just a little bit of the cadmium orange and a hint of the burnt sienna just to kind of tone down the orange a little bit Okay, so to do the roses, I start with the center, and uh, I just do, with the tip of my brush, do some very small C's, or half circles. Okay, and so we keep the, the middle part of the flower, the petals are going to be really, really tight. And so as we go out... You know start spreading out we still want to keep doing that uh, you know just like a C I guess and very lightly um, start you know with the with your brush and then push down on it as you're creating the C and keep it pretty close and then lift up very very lightly and so here with this one, I kind of want to go a little further. And keep it very close. You do want a little bit of white in there, of course. 
and you can see I'm not adding any more paint to my brush. Now start very lightly, push down. And then as you're making your, your C, um, you don't want to do it perfectly straight, you know, kind of wiggle a little bit. Okay, so we're going to leave this, and you can see I did just a little swoop there. So the um, petals of the flower are starting to take shape. So I want to kind of go back into the center. And I'm going for this, I'm going to put a little more paint on my brush because I want it a little bit darker towards the center. And then as it comes out, I do want it to be lighter, the, the petals to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just kind of going through and on these petals as they come out, uh, dabbing it in just a little bit on the inside portion of the those particular petals and I hope I'm explaining that right um, okay so I think that one looks pretty good and then for my next one <clears throat> I think I'm gonna add just a touch maybe of a little bit of a, a red to the orange just to give it kind of a nice warm autumn feel to the flower so i will start with this one over here and i'm going to start with the center of the flower off center in the circle that way it's going to uh, make it look like the flower is not looking straight on at us and i'm just doing it just a little bit off center you can see i'm going very lightly with the inside and then as we go out make them a little bit larger and start out with a light tip and then press down and then lighten back up and you can see how this takes shape get a different angle I'm trying to keep my angle so that you can see exactly what I'm doing so now because that's meeting up with that flower at this point I just want to get a little bit more water on my brush to keep it light so here we start out light and then push down and then lift it back up and that kind of ran into it here we'll do this push down and then lightly lift and then let me get just a little bit more water here so I'll start lightly here and push down so you can see there's a little bit of white in between some of these and if they run in together that's fine also um, so now I'm taking a little bit more of the color on just the tip of my brush and very lightly I'm doing the same thing with highlighting the inside of the petals. And not every one and not the full length of it, I'm just kind of um, dabbing in highlights. And then here I do want to just add just a little bit larger of a of a petal okay so that one is pretty much done and now for the third one and for the third one I think I will add just a little and I'm just kind of mixing up colors and as I had mentioned before go ahead and uh, kind of play with the colors and mix up your own and see what appeals to you because uh, they all 
you know, they become very vibrant and pretty. So with this one, I'm going to start the inside of the flower kind of down a little, a little off center uh, here. Okay, and then bring it around and really press down and then lift up lightly. And at this point there, I'm just kind of dabbing a little more water onto my brush, not really more color. Because I do want to keep it nice and light. And you can see that was kind of a little pocket of color there, which that's fine. Okay. And this one nice and light we want these these outer layers to be nice and full that one i didn't quite that one didn't quite turn out the way i wanted but that's okay just like anything else in nature not it's not always perfect so that one actually let me just bring this I'm going to create just another um, petal or flower on the leaf, petal on the leaf. Kind of losing my train of thought here. So now I do have a little bit, I just dabbed a little more paint on my brush so I could go in and, you know, do a couple little highlights. And you will want to make sure that, like, these outer uh, layers of petals on the flower, they're still pretty wet. So I don't want to you know, put any darker color on those just yet because it will blend too much and I don't really want it blending. Okay, so I think we'll just wait a couple minutes on that. We'll come back to it. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is, here I'll show you this. I'm going to start filling in some of the greenery around and um, for that, I mix up a little bit of the sap green and then just a dab of indigo with it to, to kind of make it a little bit darker, uh, give the, the green a little bit more of a depth. Okay, so I do have, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty good amount on my brush. And so for the uh, leaves, you know, we start very lightly and then push down to form that leaf. And push down. Then I do like to put a few little sprigs of green popping out here and there throughout the, the leaves very lightly. And then add a little bit a little bit more color throughout the leaves to give them little character, little depth. All right. And I'm just going to turn this so that I don't, so I don't smear any of the paint that might still be wet. Okay. You can add um, some, whoop, that one, let's fix that a little bit. All right. So see how pretty those are? And we want, want to add a few leaves coming out from the basket. And this one we can do a little further down. Okay. 
it's always nice to put a lot of green you know there's always a lot of leaves if you go into a flower shop and look at an arrangement you'll see you know the greens really are the filler so you can kind of just tap in uh, a little bit of filler you know little sprigs little just little leaves popping out from behind Okay, let me get this back in focus here. And you may want to, you know, if you really like the look of eucalyptus leaves, you could always add those. They, they're a little, um, they have a little bit more of a bluish tint to them, bluish or grayish tint to them. And they, they're a very pretty uh, leaf as well Okay, so here So I think that's pretty good for now With the greenery and you can always go back in and tap in, you know, a little bit darker In fact, I do want to do that on a couple of these a little darker uh, You know towards the flowers That towards the inside of the design and then even in here here, let me grab just a little bit more paint I think I would like to do just a little leaf kind of popping out from down behind there. Okay, let's make that. There we go. Okay, perfect. So I think that's good for now uh, with the greenery going around there. And like I said, you could and actually I do see a spot that I want to fill in just a little bit more. It's always fun to kind of just be filling in and right here even okay all right so now what I'm going to do is with the basket portion of this I want to fill in the the weave of the basket and it doesn't have to be exact I just I'm doing it to add a little bit of texture Basically, and with this, I am taking the uh, burnt sienna and just a dab of the indigo and mixing that up a little bit. And so I do have uh, a good a good amount of paint on the end of my brush, and so I just want to kind of you know dab in some uh, you know some of the the texture of the woven basket all right so time to go like i said it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't all have to it could be lighter or darker you know whatever your preference is It's just the, the basically the crisscross. And you can tell I'm not being real perfect about what's going where, but that's okay. In the end, it's all going to look good. And I do kind of want to fill that in just a little bit, just for a little bit of, um, you know, depth to the basket. All right. And then even over on this side, maybe just a hair. Okay. So we have pretty much the flowers, the greenery, and the basket complete. Now, I do want to add a little bit of a, you know, on the, the table, so to speak, or, you know, to give it a, sit, a sitting area or resting area for the basket. So to do that, I'm going to take um, very, very, like just a hint of color. And I think I'm going to go back to the color here. In fact, that's a little bit too dark on that brown. So I just dabbed it with the paper towel. There's always an easy fix to something. So what I'm doing is with the color that I used in the flowers, um, very, very lightly on my brush. And I just kind of want to set the stage for, you know, the, the surface there. And then come down here and I want to add just a little bit of color this is like a shadowing effect. Very, very lightly. 
Okay, and then with that, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a darker. And add a hint. And I, here, in fact, I do want that to kind of touch right up against the basket a little bit. Okay. So that uh, completes my little painting. You know, it's a nice little fall colors, autumn colors, and cute little flowers if you wanted to do something larger. Here, let me move the, the water out of the way. If you wanted to do something on a larger piece of paper and add more flowers to the basket, you may want to add sprigs of berry coming out. I am going to be doing another floral probably in the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to have uh, fall colors once again, or autumn colors. And I think I will be adding some of the, you know, the darker berries and darker um, foliage with it. So, but this is, this is it for now. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I do get back to everyone that, that asks a question or, or leaves a comment. I really appreciate them. And if you have um, a minute and you have not subscribed and, to like, and liked my channel, if you could go ahead and do that now, I greatly would appreciate it. And until next time, ciao for now.